Stick around because you're going to be really blown away by something I show you. It's really going to open your eyes. You're going to be amazed, okay? Hey guys, I'm Mark McKillie with Live Anabolic, and today I have a really fun video. You don't have to get out on the floor and kill yourself doing any kind of workout exercises. Today, I'm going to talk to you about how to track your progress and why it's so important. So I have five really interesting, fun, and easy ways to track your progress, all right? And the reason why they're so important, guys, is because if you don't feel like you're making progress, then you get really discouraged. And then as soon as you get discouraged, you give up, you fall off the wagon, so to speak. All right, and so I totally understand it. So I've been training guys, both professionally and amateurishly, <laughs> for 20, 30 years now. And the last 10 to 15 have been more professional. But, but one of the things I try to always reinforce with the guys I'm working with is how important it is to understand that you're really making progress, whether a lot of times you just don't realize it. So if you don't realize how well things are going, you know, once again, I would get really discouraged too. I don't blame you, it's, it's the norm, okay? It's the default position. So guys, you have to track your progress. I'm gonna give you five really cool, simple ways to do it, all right? And the fifth one, stick around because you're gonna be really blown away by something I show you. It's really gonna open your eyes. You're gonna be amazed, okay? And before I get to those five, real quick, I just wanna remind you guys that we have a phenomenal Facebook group. Okay, we're up to 15,000 guys now, all over the world, same age as you and me, guys in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, we even have a few guys in their 80s, great, great guys. And so, the reason I want you all to join is first of all, it's free, all right? There's not a lot of free offers out there, totally, completely free, and then secondly, I'm on there almost every single day. I administer the site, so I'm answering everybody's questions, and then also, everybody else is answering each other's questions. So it's really cool. I mean, men will post a question and they'll, they'll be kind of discouraged and they'll say, golly, you know, I haven't been losing any weight and I'm doing this and this and this. And, you know, what have you guys experienced? And nobody waits for me to reply. They just chime in. And I mean, there'll be 10, 15, sometimes 20 or 30 guys post suggestions for this guy who just asked the question because they had the same experiences. So you're not just getting answers from me, you're getting answers from people all over the world who have the same problems and issues as you. And so guys, it's totally free, easily the best fitness group on all of Facebook. Check it out by clicking the link below. Okay, tip number one is the easiest, most obvious, and that is weigh yourself. So guys, I'm pretty anal. I'm an engineer at heart, okay? So there I am, 194.6. I weigh myself every day, all right? Now guys, I don't want you to freak out when you weigh yourself. So not only is it the easiest and most obvious way to track your progress, especially just for you guys who are trying to lose a lot of weight, and that's the majority of the people watching right now. So the scale is gonna fluctuate, all right? From day to day, week to week. So if you go up a couple of pounds, I don't want you to freak out. Matter of fact, I see this all the time on our Facebook group. People are saying, well, you know, I kind of fell off the wagon on the weekend and I had, you know, I had a pizza and I had a couple of beers and then I came in and I weighed Monday morning, I put on three pounds, oh my gosh. You know, what happened? I, so you did not put on three pounds of fat. So guys, remember, one pound of fat is 3,500 calories, 3,500 calories. So you did not eat an extra, well, that would be 7,000 calories over the course of the weekend just to put on two pounds of fat. You did not eat that many extra calories. You might have eaten an extra 1,000 calories, okay, or maybe 2,000 at the most. But the majority of the time, when you weigh yourself after a weekend of quote unquote cheating, all right, all you're doing is retaining a little extra water because the foods that you ate over the weekend were different than what your body is normally used to. And so you think you've gained weight on Monday, but guess what, by Wednesday, you're back down to your normal weight. So guys, I love to weigh myself. You don't have to do it every day, but, but do this. 
be sure and use the same scale. Because if you weigh yourself on one scale, okay, and then a different scale, you know, a few days later, they're gonna be off. They're not necessarily gonna be completely, perfectly in precision calibrated, okay? The other thing is weigh at the same time of the day. So you're gonna weigh different amounts different times of the day. So just pick the same time of the day and make sure you're wearing the same clothes, okay? So don't get on the scale fully clothed up with blue jeans and work boots and stuff like that and then be all freaked out because you weigh more than the previous day when you were wearing your shorts and tennis shoes, all right? You can keep track of your weight, but remember, the weight is not the most important thing. I'm gonna get to that in just a minute. All right, tip number two, keep a journal of your workouts. Now guys, I printed this up. Now this is, this is just a single workout from my Fit After 50 program. Okay, this is Monday in phase three. All right, so we designed these to fit exactly perfectly on a single sheet of paper, okay? <laughs> this, is, this is an entire workout that you would do for Monday. And there's a, there's a section on the side here that says notes, okay? And I put that there for a reason, okay? So you guys, what I want you to do is keep track of how much weight you're using. And I'm not just talking about the dumbbells, I'm also talking about the resistance bands. You can keep track of how many reps you're doing if you're doing more or less than what's called out for in the program. And then keep track of how much rest you're required to need between exercises and between circuits if we're doing it circuit style, okay? So guys, this is really important because a lot of times what you don't understand is that you're, that you're slowly but surely getting stronger, okay, over the course of weeks and months and you just kind of take it for granted. You don't really realize where you started. And so you print these gym journals out, okay? And do the same thing if you're going to the gym, you know, and you may be using a different program, all right? Keep notes on how much weight you're doing on every exercise, how many reps you're doing, all right? Because it's, it's important to know that if you're doing 50 pounds on whatever exercise, but you can only knock it out five or six reps, and then a month later, you're doing it for 10 reps using the same weight. You've actually made a tremendous amount of progress, but it's the same weight, right? So keep track of not just the weight, but also the reps. And then when you're doing my program, a lot of the workouts are circuit style that require a certain amount of rest between each exercise and then a certain amount of rest at the, at the end of each circuit. And as you guys get fitter and fitter and fitter, your rest times will start to compress. All right, so if you don't write it down, you're not gonna remember that three months ago you were sucking wind, all right, after every single exercise and you could barely make it to the next one and then you could barely make it from one circuit to the next circuit, all right? Keep track of it, keep a journal and you will be blown away by how much progress you've made. Okay, tip number three, technology, all right? so. All of you guys are, are not going to have this, but these, these little smart watches are really cool, guys. They can keep track of your heart rate, the amount of calories you've burned, how far you've run, your, your times, how many steps you've taken. I mean, it, they're really impressive, all right? And they're not necessarily cheap. But guys, this is a Fitbit. And I really like to use it when I'm, when I'm running. So I, can, I know exactly how far I've run. I know, I know how long I've been running, and I also know not just how many calories I've burned, but I know what my heart rate was. And you can pull this all up on an app, okay, on your phone after the fact. So you don't have to just look at the statistics, you know, on this little tiny screen. So this is a really fun way to kind of keep track of things. And when I'm running, all right, and I trust me, guys, I don't like to run. I don't like doing cardio. But to keep it interesting for me, and to kind of motivate myself, I like to know how fast I'm running, how fast I'm running my quarter miles, how fast I'm running a mile, okay? And if I don't know, if I'm just randomly out there just getting tired, I get really bored with it, all right? So, so these, these, this technology that we have now that you just didn't have just a few years ago is a really cool way to keep track of everything. Matter of fact, you can click on exercises here and it has biking, running, swimming, treadmill, lifting weights, interval workouts, 
lots of different things you can do on these Fitbits or other smart watches. Okay, tip number four is probably the most important on how to keep track of your progress and stay motivated. Use your camera. You gotta take progress pics, guys. Trust me, this is the most important. Now, I shot an entirely separate video here on YouTube on how to take progress pictures. The whole video is about not just the importance of taking them, but how to take them and what to avoid, okay? So progress pictures are super important because guys, it's visually what's important, all right? Not necessarily the weight on the scale, like I measured, you know, earlier. It's what you look like because some of you guys are putting on muscle at the same time that you're losing body fat. And so the scale doesn't tell the whole story, right? It's what you look like that's important. So guys, it's so simple. And you don't have to do it every day, but do it at least once a month. Sometimes you might want to do it twice a month. And you know, if you just come in here in the bathroom and take a picture like this, all right, it ain't gonna work. You need to look at my other video that shows you how to do it. So you need to come up here nice and close so that your, your body is taking up, you know, a lot of the picture frame and you can see what's going on. And you can turn to the side and take them. All right, the other thing you can do is, if you're standing back here this far, my image on the screen here is tiny, so you're not gonna really be able to see much. You're just gonna look like a little speck in a big giant picture. If you want to, you can zoom in, all right? So I really zoomed in there, even though I'm standing further back, and now I'll take a picture. So guys, pictures are really the key, and they're really fun because you're gonna see, if you join the Facebook group, you're gonna see lots of guys post progress pictures. And I really appreciate when guys do that because that is incredibly motivational, inspirational, whatever you wanna call it, to all the other thousands of men around the world who are part of that group. Because it's one thing just to say, hey, I lost 25 pounds, I lost 40 pounds, you know. It's another thing to see pictures of guys as they're losing the weight because it, it will just blow you away. <laughs> Remember, a number, 25 pounds, it's just a number. I mean, what does that really mean as far as visually how you look? Unbelievable. So be sure and take progress pictures. I promise that will help you stay on track and not quit on your workout program and your nutrition. All right, remember guys, I told you to wait to the last tip because I told you it was gonna be the most impressive and kind of eye-opening, all right? And that is, you guys need to understand the significance and of what numbers mean with regard to weight and fat. So tons of guys, all the time, this is the norm, okay? Oh, I've lost 16 pounds, you know. That's not all that great. I've lost 35 pounds. That sounds pretty good, but you know, what does that really mean? It's just a number in your head. How, to, how do you translate that into actual visual volume on your body that you've taken off, okay? It's not just weight. This is a really good way to understand this. So a gallon jug of water, all right, right here. Look how big that is relative to my body. That's eight pounds. Water is eight pounds per gallon. Now fat, your body fat, is not quite as dense as water. So if this was fat that you had lost, really that would only be about seven pounds of fat, all right? So just use this, multiples of seven, and this volume here as a way to visualize how much you've taken off your body. It's crazy, guys. So guys who've lost, say, 35 pounds, sounds pretty good, but how do you really know visually? That would be five gallons of fat, all right? If each one's seven pounds and you've lost 35 pounds, seven, all right, times five is 35, hold up seven of these around you, all right? You'll never be able to accumulate seven bottles, but just, just think, think how heavy that is, all right? That's only about 16 pounds because it's water and milk, all right? That is heavy. I can't imagine carrying that around all day, every single second of the day. So guys, it's not just a number. Because when you say 35 pounds, if it's steel or cast iron, it's a pretty small volume, right? Because it's so dense. But 
but body fat is not that dense. It takes up a huge volume. So seven pounds of fat. If you only take away one thing from the video here today, and that is this big giant volume here is only seven pounds of fat. And that is a great way to keep yourself motivated and to stay on the wagon. And when I say on the wagon, I'm not just talking about doing your workouts. Part of your fitness journey is your nutrition. And if you're trying to lose weight, all right, if that's your primary goal, your nutrition is even more important than your workouts. Your nutrition is probably 75% of the total, all right, of what's going on in your fitness life. So guys, five really fun, kind of clever ways to track your progress, all right? You don't have to do them all, but just do a, a two or three of these and I'll bet you will be absolutely blown away by how far you've come in just a few months. And don't quit after just a few months, keep it up. Now, you don't have to do it and track your progress as often once you get past the first three to six months because your transformation is gonna slow down. But still, stick with it, guys, and I promise you will absolutely love the results.